My name is Nova and I'm a sneaker reseller. Join me in my journey where I turn hype sneakers into riches. Today I'm going to be going for a few releases. So I was able to get three new balances and all of them shipped already. Size, five and a half pre-order. That is the main thing that I'm going to go for right now. I got it! Oh, got one. It was way harder than what many people anticipated. I did manage to sell a few sneakers, one of them being a pre-order for the New Balance shoes, and they actually really like it to be honest. Consignment shops that I normally go to such as Flight Club and Stadium Goods have been closed due to the coronavirus, therefore I cannot drop off any shoes, I can't pick up my check. A pair of shoes came in, here we have the Supreme Air Force Ones in size 10. Well, it's a pair of Air Force Ones and only difference is they're Supreme on the side. Kinda boring, but anyways, as you know, this is a piece that they're going to continuously restock throughout the season. It seems like they've restocked quite a few times already, so what that means is I need to get rid of these almost right away. Because the more they restock, the more pairs there are going to be in circulation, and that means the prices are going to continuously go down for these. So I need to try to get rid of these as soon as possible. Few shoes came in the mail today. First up, we got New Balances in the size 10 and a half. This is actually a very fantastic size for a resale. And then we have the not so fantastic Desert Sages in the size 5 and the size 8. These absolutely bricked and who knows when they're gonna go back up in price. That being said, I feel really bad for anybody who bought like hundreds of these unless you have like a personal client of some sort. Uh, however, I do feel like these would have done so good in consignment stores if they were open. I still do have the option of shipping them out, but I've heard some nightmare stories of people shipping out shoes to consignment stores and then them claiming they never received it. And apparently this happens quite often. So yeah, I'm not gonna do that. However, I might try it once. We'll see. Anyways, tomorrow we do have Air Max 90s dropping. I'm not expecting too much resale off of these, so we'll see how I end up doing on this release. so far has not been good. Long story short, a bunch of my bots and scripts did not work. Sometimes it's gonna end up happening to you, but we do have more websites releasing these on the way, so let's get to it. order no dude request oh yes i got it wow dude these guys are fucking with me trees
Real quick before we move on, here is an announcement from this video's sponsor, Notify. This is one of the cook groups that I personally use to get my information for shoes, copying, and anything related to reselling. They're going to be restocking limited membership slots a few days from now, but this time it's a little bit different. They now have two separate discords to provide all members of Notify more in-depth release information and reselling advice to their specific region. So if you're based in Europe, Notify EU will be restocking on April 9th at 6 p.m. BS and if you're based in North America, Notify will be restocking on April 10th at 7 p.m. EST. So if you still need a group, Notify is definitely an excellent choice. On to the video. All right, so that drop didn't exactly go my way. I was able to get two uh, with the help of Joy. She got one, I got one, no big deal. However, there were so many websites that dropped them and I basically had to guess which websites had the most stock. And fortunately, I guessed wrong. The only website that I ran for that had a lot of stock was Concepts, and that's what I managed to hit on. Kith and Atmos, not so much. I heard Bodega had around 300 stock, and all these other websites that don't normally drop online, they had tons of stock, and unfortunately, I did not go for those. I had to really pick and choose, because if I ran for every single website, then the checkpoints are going to destroy all of my captures, then I wouldn't be able to check out anything. I'm somewhat happy with the results being that I got a couple. It's always better than none. And besides, I didn't really even set up for it that well. Usually I set up for drops the night before or the day before, but I was too busy editing. So I did my setup like 20 minutes to 30 minutes before the drops happened. And the amount of effort that you put in usually has an effect on the results that you get. As you see here, I didn't really cop that many, but I'm okay with that. What I did really miss out on was the Supreme Oreos. Those things were so cheap. I was so busy setting up for the Air Maxes that I did not get to set up for the Supreme at all. And I know it doesn't really take that long, but during the drop, I finished setting up like one or two seconds before the drop. So I definitely would not have had any time to set up for Supreme. It seems like the Oreo cookies are selling for quite a decent amount. I totally missed out on those. It looked like a lot of people were able to scoop these up very easily, especially if you had a bot. Anyways, we do have a box to open, so let's see what's inside. Here we have Jordan 1 Lowe's in a size eight and a half. These aren't really selling for that much on either StockX or GOAT. However, you can get a few bucks off of these if you sell them in consignment, which unfortunately is closed right now. However, I do have the option of shipping it out, which I won't. Or you can sell it on eBay and you can get a little bit of money from that too, which I think I will do. Damn, this pair is clean. I can make a little bit of money off of it, so why not? This morning I was able to cop some Supreme Oreos. They restocked a bunch of them. Checkouts that I got were all eight quantity. So that means for every checkout, I get eight packs of three. Anyways, we do have like five packages that came in the mail. So I'm gonna unbox those real quick and then come back here to show you guys what we got. First up, we have Yeezy Cinders in the size seven and the size eight. Prices on these went down a lot. They do have a pull tab over here, which I'm glad that came back. I don't know why they decided to remove it to begin with. Maybe it was just an experiment, but yeah, the pull tab I think is way better. Next up, the Yeezy 700 Wave Runners, size six and a half and a size five and a half. I'm pretty sure that these are some of the best sizes. However, prices for these also dropped by a lot. I remember when they restocked these late last year, I really thought they would break because there was so much stock and they restocked these like 100,000 times already. But even after that, the resale prices were looking fantastic. So I don't see why it wouldn't happen again. Lastly, we got Air Max 90s. That is bright. That is such a bright red, but it is a very beautiful shoe. Almost looks like a Bape collab. Kind of bummed out that I didn't get more of these, but it was on me for not being prepared. Anyways, I did sell a few more shoes online. In fact, I never used to go to consignment shops. I only used to do local and online. But the problem is going outside, not exactly the best idea right now. Every time I mention to someone that I'm from New York, uh, they're like super freaked out uh, being that there are a lot of cases here. So I'm gonna go ahead and prepare those orders 
and then I'm gonna go to UPS and then the post office and then pick up some more shoes from my other addresses and I'm gonna be honest I'm a little bit scared just got back from dropping off my packages and picked up some more shoes here we have another size 8 cinder and we also have another Jordan 1 low this time in a size 11 both of these shoes are very low profit margin shoes. I'm not expecting to make a lot of money off of them at all. However, if there is a chance to make some easy money, then I'm gonna take it. On top of that, even if you don't profit a lot from some sales, you do get intangible value out of them. For example, I can get higher eBay ratings, I can level up my accounts on StockX or GOAT, things like that that you have to think about as well. Is spending that money and then packing it up and listing it and all of that, is it worth a hassle? Yes, in my opinion but other people might think otherwise back then it was a lot easier all I would do is just take a bunch of my shoes and then drop them off at consignment shops and not really worry about it but now I actually have to list items one by one and most of these are gonna go on eBay eBay does take the most time out of all of the platforms that I'm using however you do get the least amount of fees so although it does take more time to list on eBay you do get a little bit more money and once you do have very good reviews on eBay you can actually start charging people more money than what other sellers charge for simply because you have that reputation while eBay is great one thing I do have to say to avoid selling on eBay is anything that's super duper expensive for example I wouldn't sell anything that's worth over 500 to a thousand dollars on eBay simply because it's just a little bit too much money to risk I sold a few more things on eBay and StockX all of which are supposed to be shipped out by today so I gotta go out again but this time I'm gonna be bringing you guys with me so that you guys can see like how many people are outside. Alright, the foot traffic outside wasn't as bad as the previous days, however it did seem like there were still a lot of people who were just outside chilling. Uh, however, most of the people that we saw outside looked like they were just doing like things that they had to do. But anyways, we do have some packages that came in the mail. I'm pretty sure that these are the Oreos, so we're gonna open them up and have a taste. That's a lot of Oreos. Safety first. I have no idea who touched this, so it's getting sprayed with some alcohol. Watch I actually seep through this and the Oreo ends up tasting like alcohol. Oh, it's broken. Oh, dude, it still smells like alcohol, so I, I'm going to taste alcohol, but here we go. <laughs> Why am I laughing? <laughs> it's so weird eating in front of a camera. <laughs> that is way too sweet. Way too sweet for my personal liking. For this, like in there we go. makeup gurus like this. See, it works. <laughs> Give it another chance. Dude, you know what it tastes like? I just bit into like... It's like I just ate a spoonful of sugar. That's what it tastes like. You just scoop up some sugar. Really That's what this sweet. tastes like. I honestly thought I was gonna keep another one for myself, but I just don't like it. Anyways, Yeezy Cinder Reflectives loaded up on the back end of Yeezy Supply. It doesn't look like anybody knows what time they are going to drop. However, a lot of people are speculating it will drop today. But anyways, we will find out whether or not they will drop. And then we'll find out whether or not we can cop on the next episode. <laughs>